Okay, so the sun has made it around us now. It is setting in the the uh, the west, and so that's the reason why my shadow is in the uh, on the area rug here. But this is going to be the next one that we're going to clean. We're going to go ahead and um, we're going to treat it with the same cleaning solution, sodium carbonate and peroxide, as the previous ones. However, on this one, I don't think I'm going to do a pre vacuum because it's so thin and narrow or you know so thin that uh i think that just doing a really good thorough steam cleaning on it is going to be enough to get any trapped debris out of there so what we will do is we will treat it with our peroxide sodium carbonate cleaning solution and then uh we will agitate using our our broom here we'll let it sit in there and dwell for a while um Probably not quite as long as we allow the dwell time for the uh, the wool area rug that we had done previously. Um, however, uh, this one is still drying. It is kind of wet, but it, it turned out absolutely beautiful. This one will turn out beautiful as well. Um, but because the, the sun's beating down on it right where we're going to be working on it, I'm just going to go ahead and probably just let it dwell for about five minutes five to ten minutes before steaming it out but um it should turn out absolutely beautiful it should turn out a lot brighter than what it is right now take a look at the dullness that it has and be prepared to uh be amazed by the wonders of a good steam cleaning All right, and so upon treating with our cleaning solution and uh, agitating gently with our broom, it is emitting a bit of a dog, wet dog smell, which is a characteristic of, of wool. So this is uh, some wool. There is no tag on it that really identifies what it is, but I am using a very fiber-safe product for cleaning and it is very effective and it will get it cleaned up really good and as you can see it's already quite a bit brighter than what it was uh, prior to it um, putting the pre-spray down part of it is just because it went from a wet or from a dry state to a wet state and it looks you know cleaner more vivid um, the other part of it is that the uh, the peroxide that we're using will cause some oxidization to occur in the fibers and all that, which will cause it to become brighter as well. So um, it's a little bit of a both going on right there um, currently at the moment. But once it is completely cleaned and extracted, it will be a lot more, um, a lot brighter, more um, brilliant and vivid than it was prior. Right, so we pre-sprayed, we agitated, and we give it some well time, and then we went back and we give it a good hot water extraction around 220 degrees or so, and it looks absolutely beautiful. We give it a, a, a couple of extra dry passes just to get as much moisture out as we possibly can. Because our sodium bicarbonate peroxide cleaning solution contains no soap residue, it does make it a, uh, a good, uh, very low moisture cleaning or... Um, what that basically means is that it can be used for cleaning and it doesn't have to be extracted because it will release the uh, all the, the the junk from the the dirt from the carpet fibers the same way that a, a, a soap solution would work however when it dries it um, it pretty much dries non-attached to the uh, no residue or anything to the carpet fiber so um, and basically it releases the stuff so the debris so they can be vacuumed out but it doesn't leave anything on the carpet fibers themselves um, so basically that's what I do with the tassels here I'm gonna go ahead and pre-spray these down pretty good and then I've got this uh, orange Home Depot brush right there that I'm gonna use to give those things a quick go over on just the tassels just to create a little bit of agitation to get that cleaner into the tassels straighten them out and get rid of some of that brown um one thing that is kind of hand in hand with the, the white tassels is that you notice that kind of that dingy brown that occurs that is due to ph so a lot of times you just need to create correct the ph to get them 
looking more uh, white, natural white color. And that is can be done with a uh, browning treatment, actually. So what we do is after we uh, treat and allow this thing to dry, you know, we brush the tassels and everything, we go ahead and we put a browning treatment on the tassels, let that uh, browning treatment really get absorbed in the tassels after they've been dried so that it's not having to compete with the other cleaner and uh, moisture and stuff that's in there. It gets 100% of just the browning treatment on the tassels itself. We brush it again, kind of agitate them a little bit, and then allow it to dry, and that will make them um, pop out a lot better as far as uh, giving it a nice white tone, or at least more of a natural tone. They're probably not white, white, judging by the rest of the airy rug. They're probably a beigeish brown color but that will just help to bring out more of the natural coloring because wool in general is prone to uh, browning and wicking and all that good stuff so um, we're just gonna make sure that we do the, the absolute best that we possibly can so that is the, what we're gonna be doing right now alright so as you can see we did put a little bit of solution on the uh, the little tassel area the fringe that's sticking out the, ed the edge of the area rug and we're just going to take this brush like so and kind of agitate a little bit and just pull these tassels straight so that they become nice and clean and they dry evenly and then we will flip this guy over clean the other side do the exact same thing to the tassels and then once it is dry again like i said we'll take a browning treatment and uh treat this for any discoloration which i don't see any but it It'll just help correct any pH issues that might be going on so that it looks its absolute best. And the airy rug is completely cleaned. Um, I did pull it out, now we're air drying it, but you can see a little bit um, the threading inside. As I mentioned before in other videos that the, uh, the threads, when they become wet, the stitching can uh, shrink. A little bit but then they'll expand and relax and lay back down to normal once it's dry so uh, yeah we'll just let this air dry here it's supposed to be good for another few days so it should dry super fast and be ready to go Howell's carpet cleaning area rug cleaning in Happy Valley Oregon if you've got an area rug that needs cleaning feel free to drop it by um, Friday evenings, or uh, all day Fridays I should say, uh, I do airy rug cleaning at some promotional rate, whether it's half price or completely free or what have you. I'm running a different promotion practically every single week, so uh, yeah, get your airy rugs in here and that is my way of making contacts with the different members of the community. So Howell's Carpet Cleaning. My name is Jeffrey, number is 503-939-0534. Have a great day.